So this is the start of our first unit, Home Finance. Um, first couple pages are some review questions that I would like you to try to see how you are uh, remembering math from previous grades. Okay, so what I'd like you to do here is I would like you to pause your video and try this first page. See if you can do the questions on this page. Okay, the questions are all referring to rounding off and taking percent. Okay, so can you do this page and then when you're done, turn the video back on and check your answers? Okay, or you can go to the OneNote and you'll be able to see the answers there. All right, um, there's a few things I want you to notice when you're doing this. Okay, when you round off, okay, so it says to the nearest dollar, so this means you are rounding off to this spot. So what you do is you look at the previous spot and you decide, is it greater than five? If it's bigger than five, then we round up. Okay, so this four becomes a five. So that's rounding off. Um, the next thing I want you to do, notice is percent. This word percent means out of a hundred. So seven percent is seven out of one hundred. That's where I got this from. Okay, so spend a couple minutes to do this page, and when you're finished, turn the video back on. All right, now we're back to this next page. So we'll do a few together, and then I'll get you to try some. Um, it says here that Gordon is going to buy a drill for $125, but he gets a discount of 10%. Okay, so the question is, what is 10% of 125 so on the previous page, when you saw 10%, you wrote 10 out of 100. And of means times. Okay, so you're going to go 10 out of 100 times 125, and this is $12.50. Okay, and that $12.50 is coming off. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go 125, take away 12.50. Okay, and so the price before taxes would be a hundred and twelve fifty. Okay, so that's how I would like you to do that question. Next one, college student has three part-time jobs. She earns one twenty, three hundred, and two fifty. What is the total income? Well, the total income would be if we added those up. Okay, so these questions are all going to be a little bit different. What I would like you to do is pause the video, try the question, turn the video back on to see if you got the right answer. Okay, so pause. All right, now that you've tried it, this one says that Nick has been hired. Um, he can work either, uh, he's going to work three hours each night, and he'll either get paid $25 a night or an hourly wage of eight fifty. What's better? Well, if you're going to work three hours at 850, that's 850 times three. And this would give you 2550, which is better than 25. Okay, so Nick should take the hourly wage. Okay, because he makes more money, obviously. Okay, pause the video. Now that you're back, number 10 says Leslie is saving for a trip to Florida. Every payday she saves 10% of her net pay. She brings home $1,153.84 every two weeks. Calculate how much she saves each pay. So 10% of eleven fifty three eighty four. Okay, and remember 10% is 10 out of 100, and of means times. So this is going to be $115.38. Okay, now the question, part B, that's A. Part B says how much does he save in a year? Well, this is how much you make in two weeks. So how many weeks are there in a year? There are 52 weeks in a year. So if we divide that by 2, you end up with 26 pay periods. 
Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take 11538, multiply it by 26, and you end up saving $2,999.98. Okay. All right, I don't know if you remember how to do average. How do you find the average of seven numbers? Are you going to add them all up? Okay, so you're going to add these all up. And 32. And because there's seven of them, we're going to divide by seven. Okay, and so the average is 59. Okay, Sue's electrical bills last year totaled. So here's the total. What was her average monthly bill? Well, there are 12 months in a year. So what we're going to do is we're going to take 1871 and divide it by 12. This gives you $155.95 per month, the average monthly bill. Okay. Next one, last year at the end of the, every day, Janie put her loose change into a jar. At the end of the year, she had $452.60. On average, how much change did she save each month? Okay, so A. If she saved this much in a year, and there are 12 months in the year, that means she saved $37.72 per month. That's the average. Doesn't mean that's what she actually did save, but that's what she saved per month on average. Okay, the next one, it says on average, how much did you save per day? So we'll take the same amount and we'll divide it by how many days in a year? 365. And so you get 124 per day. Okay. All right, let's talk very quickly about budgets. Budget's basically a plan for spending money. So Paul makes this much every two weeks, and his monthly expenses are listed there. How much money does Paul have left at the end of the month? At the end of two pay month. Okay, so this is a little bit tricky. You make 1,038 every two weeks. So if we're going to go for two months, what are we doing? Well, you make 1,038 times two. This will tell me how much you're making per month. 2,076 per month. Okay. Now let's add up the bills. So if we put this all in our calculator, add them all up, we get $1,670. Okay, so how much money does Paul have left? Well, in a month, he makes 2076 and he spends 1670 This is $406 per month. That's how much he saves per month. I think I read that wrong. This is not two months. This is you get paid twice in the month. Okay. Trish made the list of her monthly expenses indicate if the expenses are fixed or variable. Well, Fixed means you can't change that. They're going to be the same, and variable means they're going to change each month. So the rent, you are charged by the month. That's going to be fixed. But your food can change. You know, sometimes you go out for dinner a little bit more. Sometimes you uh, spend a, uh, save a little bit of money because maybe you go eat somewhere else a couple times. That's going to change for the month. Same with clothing. Some months you might not even buy clothing. Okay, your car loan will be fixed cell phone, assuming you're on a plan, I'm going to say that's fixed. Now, you know, if you have one of those data plans where you have a limited amount of data and you go over, it could go up and that would make it get a variable, but we're going to leave it as fixed. Insurance, that's a fixed cost. The rest of these, they're variable because, well, I guess Jim is fixed. 
the rest of them, it depends how much you use them. Okay? So Trish wants to buy a house. She will need 10000 for the down payment. How much will she need to save per month to buy a house in five years? Okay. So A, she needs $10,000. How much should she save? should she save per month for five years? So if we divide it by 12, that tells me how much I should save per month, but I also want to divide it by five because it's for five years. So I'm going to divide by five as well. Okay, so this is $167, well, $166.67 per month. If you're not sure if you did that right, try and multiply that by five and multiply it by 12, you should get back to 10,000. Okay, so use Trisha's expenses in part A. How could she cut her expenses to save the amount you calculated? So here's the question. If she wants to save this month, this much, which one of these can she cut? Okay, so the easiest way to save money is reduce variable costs. It's hard to change fixed costs. Okay, if you want to change fixed costs, then you probably need to change your lifestyle a little bit. You know, maybe you want to drive an older car. Maybe you want to live in a smaller house. Okay. Um, another option here, you have rent. You could get a roommate, you know, share the rent. It's a good way of reducing the cost. Um, I said here, you got the car loan, could get a cheaper car, could take the bus. Okay, those are some possibilities. It's hard to tell what people should do without looking at the situation more specifically. These are just generalizations. Okay. Converting units. Convert each time period into years. So 60 months. So let's divide that by 12. You get 5 years. 48 months. 48 divided by 12 gives you 4 years. 36 divided by 12 gives you three years. Express each time period in months. Well, two times 12 would give you 24 months. Seven times 12 would give you 84 months. 10 years times 12 months is 120 months. Okay, calculate each percent. So again, 2.4% is 2.4 out of 100. And you're going to go times 145,000. So this is 3,480. Do the same thing here. You're going to end up with 300. Okay, next question. Remember, you guys, you're pausing these in between and doing them on your own first. So Sapphire is paid fifteen sixty bi weekly. Okay, that's every second week. Okay. Uh what does she earn per month? Okay. Um how do we do that if I'm paid every second week? Because you know a month has four and a four weeks and three days, four weeks and two days or four weeks. Okay, so to change it to month, what you always do is change it to years and then divide by 12. Okay, so I'm going to go 1560 <coughs> times 26, right, because I'm being paid every second week, and there's 52 weeks in a year. This gives me $40,560 per year. And then if I take that 40,560 and divide it by 12, I find out what I made per month. Okay. 
Morgan's gross pay is 32.40. He estimates that his deductions are 32%, 35% of his gross. What is his estimated take-home pay? Okay, we could do this two ways. We could say let's take 35% of 3240, or if I'm going to take away 35%, how much is left? That's 100 take away 35%. That's 65%. So 65% of 3240, this is what's left. And this is what's deducted. So you could deduct 35% and subtract it, or we can do it in one step and just say 65% of 3240 is 2160. Okay, if you want to try it the other way, you can. You'll see it's the same answer. All right, Vicky bought a computer that costs. 1398 including taxes she plans to save money so she can pay cash for the computer in six months so we want to know what is she saving per month so we're saving for six months okay Vicky saw the same computer on sale cheaper it's 1309.28 including taxes okay and he can finance the computer at this store. There could be 12 monthly payments of 12266. Suppose Vicky buys the computer at a computer discount. Guess it's supposed to be she. What she would she pay more or less for the computer and by how much? Okay. So yeah, this is on sale, but it's saying we're paying this much 12 times. So let's go 120.66 times 12. This turns out to be 1447.92. Okay, that's the finance rate. Finance usually means you're paying some interest. You're paying some money for the place that you're buying it from to kind of take its time to make, allow you to pay over a longer period of time. Okay, if you compare 1447.92 to what the actual cost of the computer is, okay, the financing costs you quite a bit more. Would you pay more or less for the computer and by how much? Okay, so this would be how much more it would cost you if you took the financing deal. Okay, all right, I'll stop there. Um, and then what we'll do is we'll start the next lesson in the next video.